I am Amy from A Red Spatula and I love coffee cakes. Without fail, if there's a coffee cake in front of me, there is a really good chance that I'm gonna to have to try a slice. Now, a lot of coffee cakes seem like they're seasonal depending on what fruit they use in them, but let me tell you that this blackberry coffee cake that I am gonna show you today can be made any time of year because you can use either fresh or frozen berries and you're not gonna notice a difference. The reason for this is that the blackberries in this cake, they're not mixed into the batter. It's just this blackberry sauce that goes in the middle. It is delicious. Your friends and family are gonna thank you for making this, or if you wanna keep it all for yourself, you can do that too. Now, as always, of course, don't forget to subscribe. You don't wanna miss any of the new videos that are coming out. Okay, so there's three parts to making this cake. One is the crumb topping, which I'm showing you here, then the vanilla cake, and then the blackberry filling. I make a very simple crumb or streusel topping and use melted butter instead of cold butter. You mix it all together, set it aside. I put it in the fridge because it does take a little while for everything else to, you know, for you to get finished with everything else. And then for the blackberry filling, now you can also use blackberry preserves. Let me just say that if you would prefer to do that. I like to do this with frozen blackberries. It's a little bit of sugar. It's cornstarch. You're going to cook this on kind of a medium low heat for a while until it looks like this. You can see with the back of the spatula, I'm pressing the blackberries they start to thicken from the cornstarch and also from the natural, natural pectins. You're going to set the site and let it cool completely before you start making your cake. Then the cake is just kind of a traditional style cake. You're going to cream your butter and your sugar together for about a minute and a half until they're light and fluffy. You add in the eggs to the vanilla. Now at this point, this is really important, you don't want to over mix your cake at this point. Once the vanilla and the eggs are added it's really easy to get a tough cake so this is what it looks like when it's finished you can see it happens very quickly then we're going to add in our dry ingredients now all this is in the description same thing with the dry ingredients we only want to mix them until they just come together then when this is finished while it's still a thick batter it's actually pretty sticky so we're going to divide the batter in half and half of it is going to go into the bottom of your 9 by 13 pan you can see i sprayed it with pan release if you don't like pan release you can also just uh, do it with butter in there because this is so sticky we're going to want to press this into the bottom of the pan what i do is you can either um, rub a little bit of butter on your hands or spray it with pan release and i had to do this a couple times you'll see when my hand pulls away it's me spraying my hand again just so it doesn't stick to it press this along the bottom of your pan and then once it's pressed in and it's pretty good then we're going to add our layer of blackberry preserves my only recommendation now it's going to go to the sides but you don't want too much to go over to the sides because it does stick to the edges so again we're going to finish this bottom top part and then we're going to add our preserves And then once the blackberry fillings in, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the remaining cake batter and I just make little sections. It almost looks like a cobbler or something like that. Put it across the top and then we're gonna add the streusel or crumb topping to it. Press it into it. You're gonna bake this cake. One thing I would recommend is that you let the cake cool pretty well before you cut into it. Uh, otherwise it's pretty messy with that blackberry filling. And then this is what it looks like once it comes out. The layers are perfect. The cake is tender. The blackberry filling is so good in it. And then, of course, who can resist that streusel topping?